Bonjour and welcome to Brazzaville in the Republic of Congo, country number 188. There are many unique things about Brazzaville that I can tell you about, such as the green taxis or the impressive bridges. But nothing to me is more special than the sappers. Ouais, je me surnomme Dodo Digarmani. Euh, moi, je m'appelle Tapis Laurel. Moi, c'est héritier de Nesquin, Nous sommes les sapeurs du Congo Brazzaville. <laughs> also known as the Brazzaville Dandies, the sappers are Congolese men who like to dress themselves in swanky suits, ties, and colorful attire. Why? Nothing more than to gain attention. Can you explain what is the SAP? La SAP, c'est d'abord l'élégance. SAP is a movement, it's a religion here, and you have to get it in, your, in, in yourself. When you dress so nice, how does it make you feel? Yeah. Me sens que je suis à l'aise. When you dress like that, it's very fine. Another one just rolling up. Is that your friend? Yes. <laughs> Another guy just rolling up casually. Ça va? Oui, ça va. And my name is Kunzilele. I'm with my buddy Patrick here and I'm asking him, I've noticed that people here kind of respect the sappers. Like when they see them in the street, they say hi, they acknowledge them. Yeah, that's true, it's part of our culture. Like when you see a sapper walking into the door, we respect them. The sappers pride themselves in dressing uniquely from one another, never wearing the same outfit each day. They have their own bro code and way of interacting, like when greeting each other, they rub the front of their heads together. It's almost like a cult. But perhaps the most interesting thing about the sappers is that they often come from the slums of Brazzaville, but nonetheless manage to get their hands on the most fine tailored suits and accessories. All right, we're now going to the store where all the sappers shop right here. Check it out. Like he's saying, this is like an expensive pair of shoes. It's around 1,800 euros. It's fake though, right? <laughs> Don't ask him. <laughs> I know it's fake. He fake yeah, yeah, yeah. And they can be seen walking in all areas of the city. It's kind of like built into their culture, and they're really proud of it. When did you become a sapper? Je suis devenu sapper dans les années lointaines. He, he became a sapper 1996. Moi j'ai commencé la sap en 2019. Il est start sa pologie en 1979. Euh, je suis devenu sapeur depuis les années 94. Il became a sapper uh, since 1984. So if I want to become a sapper right now, how do I do it? <laughs> ben, il n'a qu'à d'abord aimer la sap. If you want to be a sapper, you 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 have to like it before to initiate it second second end. We 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 bring you. <laughs> The, 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 the rest of all. J'ai été initié dans le temple sapéritique par mon grand frère aîné Yvon Le Valeur. He was initiated uh, by his big brothers. So I'm just chilling at a restaurant in downtown Brazzaville with a bunch of sappers. And they're just slugging beer after beer like it's nobody's business. It's hilarious. These guys can drink like crazy. Witnessing the unique culture of the sappers reminds me that in life, anyone can choose who they want to be. For these guys, it's all about peace, friendship and happiness. It's been a great experience here today with the sappers of Brazzaville. It's just, it's so cool to see them. Like it's so cultural. You come here and they're all over the streets and they just do these really cool dance moves and they look freaking amazing. They look dapper as hell. So that's it. That's today's story in the Congo. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you later. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like when he talks, he's very passionate. How many sappers are in Brazzaville? Oh. Total. Dans tous les peu coins près, de Brazzaville. À peu près. À peu près. La sap, c'est c'est pas un phénomène mm. qui, qui est quantifiable. Qui est quantifiable. Un okay. Phénomène. Euh... Every every Congolese is a, is a sapper, but you have to discover that in you. Yeah. But like on the streets, is there thousands of them? Like on the street, bon, dans, dans la rue, quand on regarde, il y a quoi? Il y a il y a deux mille, trois mille. Si on peut quantifier la population mm. congolaise à 1 million d'habitants. Mm. Mm. If we are 1 million person in Congo Brazzaville, there is 8,000 uh, 8, 8, 8, people 
was supper. 800,000? So yes. 80%? 80% of... of, of. <laughs> cool, man. Okay. Je n'ai beaucoup, c'est ma passion. Okay. His passion is dress. He has too, too, too many dress. <laughs> So, <laughs> too many. <laughs> okay, man, thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.